Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Walt City beer. This one is Overnight Oats and this is Banana Blackberry, Goji Berry, Maple Syrup and Coffee. This is 8.4%. There it is. This is a shake to weight can. It's been shook. It's been left for about 40 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes. Uh, so hopefully it should all be nice and settled now. We'll find out. Um, and yeah, this is the second of the Overnight series, I think. They did one that I, I have reviewed a while back now, actually. I can't remember what it was. But I remember it being really nice. I remember it being thick-bodied and, you know, really creamy, but also quite a nice sour. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I like this can art. It's kind of got like a lava lamp magma plasma design to it. It's really, really cool. Anyway, go from the side, it says... Overnight Oats is back and the second of the series maintains all the madness and intensity of our initial release. Good. Sweet banana, juicy blackberry and tart goji berries fight for centre stage in this thick and creamy golden oat based breakfast style beer. All the while, sweet maple and freshly roasted coffee sit subtly in the background rounding out um, the flavour of each sip it says all that right there this is not a vegan beer because it's got lactose in and that is everything on the can so let's hope this doesn't explode and um, crack it open and see what we got shall we so far so good nice bit of smoke off the top of the can as well right. get pouring That settle as I pour the last, hopefully, last bit in. There we go. Look at that beauty. Just put that there. Right. So while that settles, there's the beer we have. Is that like a peach coloured beer with a uh, off white, baby pink, muted pink, whatever you want to call it? compact loose head there's actually a bit of both in there uh, camera can't really determine that but there is a bit of both in there looks quite nice let's get oh, what was that? let's get a smell shall we and see what we get what are them fruits again blackberry goji berry well i think it's the goji berry i could smell because it's something new and fruity and i've never had a goji berry before and i don't know what they smell like or taste like i didn't even know they were a thing until today um so i think that's what i could smell first it's very fruity very oh what's the word it's like sharp on the nose you can smell it and you can tell straight away that's that is something that's gonna be sour nice little bit of coffee in there Burnt sugar, syrupy, caramel, you know, maple syrup really in it. I'm not really getting banana, I'm not getting blackberry. Hands are dead sticky from that can. Yeah, I'm not getting the blackberry and I'm not getting the banana, but I'm getting, I think, the goji berry. And coffee and maple syrup. It smells nice. It smells really, really fruity, sweet, with a hint of bitterness in there. It's a mouthful of bodding cup. Carbs nice and light. Body's a medium to full. <coughs> On the sour scale, give that a four. Got a nice little bit in the cheeks, nice tartiness in the cheeks, but that's about it. Doesn't really blow your face off. So far, so good. It's quite creamy actually as well. Anyway, let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Really, really nice. Uh, so the first thing I get is coffee. Really, really nice. Ground, fresh, slightly bitter base flavour of the beer. Um, it isn't that strong like the can said. It is actually a nice, subtle coffee flavour. Um, and you also get the blackberries and what I think is the 
goji berries as well. Again, I've never had them, so I can't really say that it is or isn't. But because it's a flavour I've never had, I've had maple syrup, I've had bananas, I've had blackberries, and I've had coffee. So I'm going to assume that this other flavour I can taste, which is brand new, is the goji berry. Um, it's quite nice. So you get the blackberries and, like I say, assuming the goji berry as well as the coffee. So you get a nice subtle coffee base to the flavour. Um, and then this nice, really sharp, tart berries. Nice fruity, curranty berry flavour. Really, really nice. Banana is very subtle in this. It's not that strong and I don't get it until about halfway two-thirds of the beer uh, pardon me um it is just berries coffee banana and then the maple syrups at the end that just give it a sweet kick uh but i'm only getting the subtlety of bananas and i do actually like bananas but they're just it's got to be a strong flavor for me and it's just the subtlety doesn't really it doesn't feel like there's a, a sort of shift in the beer You've still got the berries, and I kind of wanted the banana to give it a, a nice flip, give it a twist to it, and then finish off, but it doesn't. It's just a subtlety, like you've got the berries, and then it's almost like a, oh, there's a little bit of banana in there as well. But again, not in too much. The berries are the main flavour. As well as the coffee, the coffee still sticks around throughout the beer. It's just... Yeah, banana's not there. Syrup, you do get at the end of maple syrup. You do get a nice kick of sugar. You know, caramelly, toffee, maple syrup, sugar, burnt sugars right at the end. Nice sweet kick to it, but that isn't fruity. Um, almost like a really sugary coffee at the end, to be fair. You've still got the coffee and a lot of sugar, so it's just a sugary coffee at the end. Uh, but the yeah, that middle bit, just the middle bit is just no banana. No banana. Like I say, berries, coffee, really, really nice. Really sweet contrast in the bitterness and the ground freshness of it. Um, it's really nice and you just, a little bit banana. Not until really flip me on my head though and just go, wow, that's a nice surprise. It's just like, eh, a little banana. It's good beer, just needs more, more bananas. But, I don't know. It's one of them. I think it's good. It just needs a bit more. And I've had banana beers before. And when I have them, they are quite thick. Really, really thick. And then you've got massive chunks at the bottom of what is just banana flavour. But there is nothing at the bottom of this beer. No floaters at all. And I'm fairly certain I remember Overnight Oats having this nice not nice but this these floaters and the bits at the bottom with you know when you swirl them around at the end it's nice boost the flavor it's yeah it's good it's got a nice little bit of everton sweet bitter malty coffee syrup just just missing bananas anyway um it's good i'm not gonna fault it well i'm gonna fault it i am faulting it I'm not going to say it's a bad beer. I'm just going to say it's not the best one. I think I prefer the first one. Pardon me. But it's still good beer. So, Vault City's Overnight Oats. What is it? Banana. It's banana. First word. First ingredient is banana. And I don't taste any banana. Even on there. Sweet banana. It's the first ingredient and I can't taste it just subtle it's not there anyway vault city overnight oats banana blackberry goji berry maple syrup and coffee at 8.4 percent out of 10 it's getting a seven it's a nice beer but when you're advertising banana is the first ingredient you know the first thing that if it was everything else and banana it's the last ingredient you know it's but banana's the first thing that you read so I'm expecting it. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a seven. I want more bananas. 
Anyway, um, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Vault City's website down below. That's where I got mine. And I think you can get this from any craft shop that you go to. Because I'm sure I've seen this in the Market Bottle Shop. But yeah, link will be for Vault City. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so. Because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.